All right, he has created lavish events for stars like Ariana Grande, Nick Jonas, and now this red carpet creator is sharing his tips to elevate your Halloween bash. Yeah, joining us live is event designer to the stars, Edward Parati. Good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, good morning, everybody. So you create show-stopping events, but they don't have to cost a million dollars to look good, to look like they cost a lot. So where do we start? No, I mean, definitely not. And let's just lay it out there. We, as event professionals, repurpose quite a bit, right? We upcycle quite a bit. So first and foremost, look what's around your house, right? I mean, bottles, as a perfect example, we've all got them, probably some of us more than others, but simple paint job can easily change the look of it, right? I mean, think about your pumpkins. Think about those plastic pumpkins that you've had or your neighbors have that all you need to do is slap some primer on it and repaint them in a different way, right? Look at just different ways to use something. Look at the possibility of it versus going out and buying something new. It seems like you have to be an outside the box thinker for this, but you can accomplish a lot. What about fabric? What kind of, what kind of role does fabric around the house play? So fabric for me is huge. For any event, I actually go to the fabric store and I use that as my baseline inspiration. I just walk the aisles. They probably think I'm crazy, right? But especially at Halloween, you go to the cosplay area and you find something that just kind of speaks to you and it might be not what you're looking for, but grab it, grab a bolt, uh, you know, a bolt, <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> grab a yard of it, you know, bring it home, play with it and see where that takes you. Uh, those are amazing pictures we're looking at. You can see how much like the gauzy fabric gives a certain look and then others can create a different vibe. And you use color to create a theme. What do we need to know? Of course, we think orange and black for Halloween. So I definitely, yeah, orange and black are your typical. Throw some purple in there, so throw some green in there, you're kind of done. I like <laughs> to shake it up a little bit. So, you know, like I love the Louisiana Bayou. So bringing in some of that camo kind of feel all white to me is so sinister. There's just something about that pure color that Ooh. just scares me where black doesn't have to be the scary one. Black can actually be the sexy one, right? I mean, if we think of Charlize Theron in Snow White, mm. it's just how that black just screams, right? And it's, so it's looking at things once again differently. And I don't think you need to be an out of the box thinker. I think you just need to release that inner five-year-old creativity that you that you had when you were a child and that we all have. <laughs> so, uh, you've got your color schemes, you've got your fabrics, uh, but I'm sure lighting has to play a, a major part in this as well. Well, it depends on what you're going with, right? So yes, lighting does play key. I'm a massive candle guy. I love the string LED lights because I can hide them anywhere, but just, you know, play with them. If the idea of going out and buying lighting is a little intimidating seriously just do candles all over the place but keep in mind everybody's coming when it's twilight when it's dark your lighting is going to create the shadows it's going to create the moods we use it with the vents so often because it's a great way to set a tone all right and then when it comes to decorating you suggest we just start in one key spot what is it so your table, mm. hands down your main table, build on that, set that the way you want, edit it down. I will always say, set your table, take a step back, go to it and remove one thing. Just remove one thing and edit it down. From there, you start looking around of where you want other moments of things to be. You don't have to go crazy and do all four walls. You don't have to do your entire front yard just create those moments to tie back to your one anchor. If you could do all this on a limited budget, I'm very curious to see what you do with a million dollars. Oh, we would have a lot of fun. <laughs> all right, for more lavish event ideas, be sure to visit edwardaparati.com or you could follow him on social media right there, at Parati A. Thank you so much, Edward, for joining us this morning. Great ideas.